Hey guys, are you in need of some really good breastfeeding tips? Well, if you're here for the first time, make sure you subscribe. And if you're one of my regulars, welcome back. Today I have four really great breastfeeding tips that are really gonna help my new mamas or even my old mamas that are in it for the long haul or even have two, three, or even four kids. Let's jump into the video. So I know sometimes it's really, really hard when you're a new mommy, you just brought the baby home, or you're a new mommy and you have multiple kids in the house and it's hard to sleep. My first tip of the day is sleep, guys. When I first brought my baby home and I also have two other ones, it was really hard to sleep at night because I was pumping every two hours and the baby was waking up, but you are no good to the baby and you're no good to your other children and family if you are lacking sleep. Sleep is what your body needs to make sure that it is healing properly and that you are able to function without being lackadaisical. So the first tip of the day is make sure that you are getting as much sleep as you possibly can in the beginning when you first bring the baby home at least four hours at max I think that's what you can get and have someone help you with the baby have a relative come over maybe help you with some house chores whatever you can do to make sure you get sleep is very imperative because sleep is important to make sure you're building your immunity and your body back up so my second tip of the day is to relax it is hard to get tense because you're trying to breastfeed, breastfeeding isn't working, you're trying to pump, pumping isn't working, you're not really sure if you're able to uh, breastfeed and take care of the family or take care of the house and take care of the kids. Whoa, relax. The one main thing that can really halt breast milk is not relaxing and being very tense. You got to be able to relax your body and relax yourself to make sure that you can not only breastfeed properly and your body can actually promote and build up milk, but it's also going to help you yourself when you're relaxed and you're less tense and you are not under as much, as much pressure when you just relax yourself and just brush it off on your shoulders. So that was tip number two, guys. Make sure that you can relax. Treat yourself to a really good day. Take yourself out to lunch, have someone watch the kids or clean the house. Take yourself to get a manicure or a pedicure. That's what I do to help me relax and it works really, really well. Okay, now off on to tip number three. Tip number three is to silence all negativity and negative people. When I started breastfeeding, there were a lot of people that said, well, it's not gonna work out for you. You know, maybe you should just go straight to the bottle because the baby's not gonna eat as much. That's none of their business and it's actually the more negativity that you put into your head, you'll start to believe it. So anyone that's a naysayer that's not, you know, behind you 110%, silence those nay naysayers and don't allow them in your circle. The more positivity you can have that feeds into your cause, the better your cause would work. So anyone that's not for your goal and behind you 110%, silence them and move them away from what your cause is. And even your family, you don't need negativity in your family or to bring you down. So those people shouldn't even be in your circle, guys. So get rid of those naysayers. Now the final tip, guys, tip number four, which for me is the best tip. Now I am not a medical professional, so please make sure you know you check with your doctors if you don't want to do this or you're uncertain about it. But for me and all three, one, two, three of my children, plus myself and my sister and my mom as I was growing up, we co-slept. Co-sleeping works miracles across the board, guys. It works when you're trying to breastfeed at night and you don't wanna get up and make those bottles. It works when you don't wanna get up and go to another room to check on the baby. Or it just, it, it actually works for comfort. It helps your body build more breast milk because you're next to the baby. So guys, co-sleeping is awesome. You can look up a lot of the medical tips. I don't want to put a lot of medical jargon on my channel because I'm not a medical professional. Um, so make sure you check with your providers for that. But it actually offers a lot of good um, for the body and for the baby when you co-sleep and it actually can help with a lot of those medical uh, things that can happen to the baby if you co-sleep. So guys, make sure you check with your medical professional about that or you research it on your own, but make sure you co 
co-sleep. If you are afraid of co-sleeping with the baby or with your kids because you fear something's going to happen, then maybe just take a small nap or allow the baby to the baby to sleep next to you instead of you sleeping or just cuddle cuddle with the baby or cuddle with your kid it actually builds a lot of good things in the body guys when you co-sleep and you cuddle with your children so that's all i have for you guys today um, i'm going to be doing a lot more breastfeeding tips as i move along in my journey my journey is actually going very very good as good as it possibly could go it's not perfect but all these tips and tricks has actually worked for me and i hope that they work for you so guys if you've been using some of these tips already, please comment them down below so that the mom community can uh, be more aware of these things and that they work. If there's something that I didn't mention that you want to mention, comment that down below so the mom community can get a hold of that as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, make sure you subscribe if you are new here. Thank you for watching.